All right, we're gonna be terminating a fiber optic drop cable. Now you're gonna find this, hopefully in your basement. This is your fiber optic cable with all of its protection on it. We are first going to remove the black plastic coating. Some drop cables have this extra ridge on the side with a uh, copper wire inside. We have to remove that first. We're gonna take the potato peeler Yes, it's just a regular potato peeler. And the side with that extra little ridge, we're just going to score the black off of it. And you can see the shiny copper cable inside. I'm going to take a pair of pliers and you're going to pick that copper wire out. Like we do here. And we're going to peel it back about a foot. We've got 12 inches here and we can just nip that off really short bend that out of the way now we're going to take the potato peeler again and take off all that black stuff where the copper wire was now it's going to look smooth on both sides now we're going to do it once more time but push deep into it it's going to cut until you see this white fiber stuff on the edge. It is okay to cut into that white fibrous rod a little bit. That is no problem. That's just there for protection and strength. Now we're gonna flip it around, do the other side. So we have scored both the edges of this and we can see white on both edges. Gonna go back to the pliers, just kind of break apart the end here. Just gonna squeeze it till the layers start to separate. Gonna peel back the black to that one foot mark on both sides. And gonna use the pliers to cut off that black if you have a knife available you can also just cut it off with a knife now our fiber drop cable is down to two fiberglass rods that are very stiff and one white core that is very flexible that's our fiber optic core so we can cut off these two hard rods. Once again, using pliers or side snips. Now we're down to this white core. We have now stripped the outside of the cable. This inside core, if you look closely, sometimes, depending on your house, you might have a blue and an orange fiber inside or just a blue. You might not have the orange one. Okay, we're gonna take the wire strippers and on the second largest notch, cut into the white sheathing and then pull it off. The third notch might work better. All right, now we're gonna separate these yellow hairs from our one or two fibers. I'm going to take the hairs, give them a twist off to the side, hold them a little bit tight, and then you can cut them with the inside jaws of the wire strippers. If it doesn't cut, give it a twist again and cut it right at that twist. Or once again, you can just use a knife if you have a knife available. <sighs> Down to our two or one fiber. In all cases, you're going to use the blue one first. And you're going to take these smaller fiber strippers. 
Now, if you're working outside, you got to keep these body temperature or better. If these get to freezing, these jaws actually shrink too much, it will crimp the fiber and it will just keep breaking on you. So if it's working outside, keep it warm, keep it in your breast pocket. So we're gonna take this, measure back about two inches, maybe an inch and a half would be better. With the outer jaws, the larger ones, the ones closer to my finger here, we are going to cut into the blue jacket Release just a little bit and pull that blue off. Here's our fiber optic cable exposed. Now on the handle of this, it shows a sort of measurement guide. The blue lines up with this widest part. Then we see this middle line and then the tip at this middle line measure out doesn't have to be exact just kind of eyeball it we're going to go to the inside jaws this time there's about that distance that was measured on the handle and we're going to pull it along here and it's going to pull off all this white cladding material So now if we look at it, thick, thinner, and thinnest at the tip. Now here, we're going to take one of these alcohol wipes. Open it up. And we're going to clean off this fiber start at the blue just pull out to the end like that and place that out of the way next we are taking the cleaver we're going to open up this main section Here, let's get a better view so we're going to take this open it there's a little door, make sure that's open. Now we're going to take our fiber, place it in the track closest to you. And you're going to line up the blue with the 16 mark on here. Okay, the blue is lined up with the 16 mark and the fiber needs to go straight across these jaws. Sometimes you gotta give it a little twist or a roll before it goes. There we go. Fiber's going straight across that jaw to that jaw there. The blue is at the 16 millimeter mark. We're going to close that and push that button. The fiber is now shorter, got cut halfway at this wheel. Lastly, we're going to put on the connector. Just let that dangle. Don't let the fiber touch anything. We have one of these connectors. I'm gonna rip open the bag here. Dump out the contents. I'm gonna have this tiny black boot. I wanna slide the fiber into that hole. So it comes out the back. Slide that back. Grab our fiber connector out of the second little baggie. That was inside the first baggie. 
Now, once you get these, you want to squeeze it top and bottom and make sure it clicks in. If it doesn't click, that's fine. That's actually how it's supposed to be. But give that a good squeeze to click it if it's not already clicked in. Now we're going to spin it around and there's a little hole in the end. We're going to take our fiber optic cable, slide it into the hole. Now the blue should actually go just slightly inside the tip there. I'm going to apply just a little bit of force in there. So I'm pushing it firmly into the green connector. And as I'm pushing it in, I'm going to squeeze the sides of this top piece here. It's going to let go of the green connector and drop it. Then we're going to take this black boot, slide it forward, and twist it onto the back there. We have now put a fiber end on your drop cable. Next, we will be testing it. Gonna take off this little tip. And you'll be placing a laser flashlight onto this tip for your technician to find it outside. 